I'm a massive piece of shit in this industry. I was squeezing my mouth. You ever wanked off into your own mouth? Your own mouth? Oh. No. You should try it. <laughs> All right, listen and listen good, Munchkin Breath. I am going to help you guys out. Now, I'm willing to stop telling people I own your show, but you are going to have to agree to a few of my conditions. Really? Really? <laughs> Fucking, yes. Fucking really? Oi! Come on, get up. Move! Where's my fucking money? You just snorted all your money, didn't you? Get off my couch, you fucking slag. Fucking small dick prick. For all my time and effort, I require compensation. It's going to be the sum of $69. You will sign off every broadcast with the words, Danny Danielson has a wang as big as a blue whale's wang. Agree to these conditions and I'll give you your precious little show back. No. No deal, Danny. I'm going to contact every producer, presenter, program designer, engineer, production manager, fucking researcher, competition winners, Aaron. Yeah, competition winners. You're not going to have anyone working, working with you at all in this town, town. ever. And they're not even going to recognise you're going to be covered in so much shit. And since I own the chain of title, I'm going to come down and you the wrath of a thousand sons. Why don't you go on iTunes? Yeah, I've called your podcast. And Apple are going to be getting a strongly worded email from me that says, any dealings with Henry Aaron, they're going to be breaking the law. Oh, you can run, you can hide, but I won't catch you. Because I'm, I'm the blood-sucking leech that's crawling up your neck. neck. I'm the fucking hemorrhoid on your ass. Well, it's about to burst. Asshole, just about the first. Diamonds inside, inside your, your bloodstream. I'm AIDS. Yeah. You see, you just fucking the wrong queer, and now you got fucking AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> AIDS, you fucking AIDS. <laughs> Fuck! Could you please calm I'm down? I'm gonna fucking right. kill him. <laughs> Hurt him, Aaron. I'm not gonna let you hurt him. I, I didn't know what you're doing. And he couldn't. Susie didn't come over, and he couldn't have your little way with her. And you're gonna blame it all on Danny. He's the one who's overstepped the mark as a producer, Henry. I'm gonna go over there, and I'm gonna drive my car into his fucking face. You know what Danny told me? And he said that I could do my own show. If you do this, our show's over, right? I quit. I don't fucking believe this, Hen. Fucking brainwashed or something? Were you blind? Can you see what's happening? Danny's trying to turn you against me. So the catching up with Henry and Aaron will be destroyed forever. You're fucking disposable to him, Henry. Or he just chewed you up and spat you out like one of his pre-pubescent whores. Oh, you're right. Yeah, man. I'm not an idiot, Aaron. Yeah, I know, I know. I, I realise that Danny's a misogynistic, narcissistic, <sighs> psychopathic fraud, but you know, for a short time he was 
my misogynistic, narcissistic, psychopathic fraud, and, and I guess I... I guess I thought I, I could change him. I was, I was wrong. I lost control tonight, and... Yeah, I'm <laughs> really sorry. Danny got the best of me. He wanted me to kill him, you know? He wanted to turn me into a murderer. He wanted me to be hunted like a dog, you know, on the run like a fugitive, you know, like in that movie The Net with Sandra Bullock. Thanks, thanks for stopping me. You know, Aaron... Well, actually, no, I should be the guy in District 9, you know, like, um, because that, that would be a better fugitive, because then I could, like, I could control things with my alien hand, and I can just walk up to Danny and be like, Oh, Danny, look, how are you today? And, <laughs> like, <laughs> in the fucking thing into his face, and his... <laughs> and his... Yeah, 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 yeah,